Hey guys, this is Jen from Scan and Cut Canvas and Scal Help on Facebook. Um, this is kind of an on-the-fly video, but not really. Uh, what I want to do is um, I have created um, I created my own line file based on this image, but I want to show you uh, quickly kind of some important things that I do when I do node editing. Um, one thing you really want to do. Um, is you want to come in here and you want to do the show outlines only it's going to remove all the color so that you can actually get in there and see all of the aspects of the nodes okay uh, when I'm doing my file when I created my file I wanted rid of all of these subtle curves okay I needed straight lines um, so if you have a lot of curves in your file and you want them straight, like right here. Okay, so let's click on this. Let's see where these. Okay, so right here, technically there should be a node here. Okay, because you want that straight. Well, you can grab this one and to grab it, make sure that it turns blue and then you can grab it. Well, you see that's got all those little, we'll, we'll call them antenna. Okay. That's got all these little antennas up here. Well, you can take your time and you can try to pull them back. Or just go up here and click that little guy. Okay? That will straighten them out right quick. Okay? So then you ain't got to mess with them. Then I know I don't need this one here. Okay? That's just, just in the way. Okay? These are all blue now. So I need to click off this and then click back on it. So then I can... Ah, these are two blue, so I need to click off that, click back on it, and make sure I'm just working with one. Okay. All right, so I need to kind of make this even, but again, because I still have those little antennas sticking out there, I want to click on that. That squared it up for me right quick. Okay. And I can see that that line is not equal. Again, they're both lit up, so I click off and click back on it. All right, so I need to make sure they're even. There, now that line runs right across that top line there. So that one's fixed. Now this one, and again, those dadgum antenna. Well, I'm just focusing on the box. I'm going to get that box equal with the top one. I'm going to come up here and click that. And look, it made it equal. Okay, so that's how I go about working with things. Now, if I wanted to get rid of or make things all one at the same time I'm a big fan of dragging okay so now I have those I'm just gonna delete those that's nice and square okay so I want all of that squared up right there so I highlighted all those come here square okay well yeah that looks kind of janky right now but I squared them all up so I can come in here and start pulling these to where they need to be. Okay, so that looks good. This one, I'll pull this down. Okay, oh, look at this one. It's got big old antenna that stick way out. So what I'm going to do is I'll click on this. I'll do that right quick. Oops. Click off it. Click back on it so that it's just one. Now I can bring it over here. So don't be afraid of doing things and making it look a little funny at the beginning. Because in the end, you're going to control all that. Oh, like this one. He's got all kinds of stuff sticking out everywhere. That's okay. I'll fix him up. And I'm going to bring him down. Oops, I know I need to set him about right here. I need to bring this little guy after I take his antenna away. And no, antenna is not the correct word. I understand that. But when people look at it, that's what they look like. Little antenna or little handlebars, you know. And sometimes using words that make sense to people is what works. Okay. So up here, I can do the same thing. And then I'll worry about placing them in a minute. Okay, so I know I have these two that can go. They're not. Oh, 
Shadow snoring. Shadow, are you tired? Shadow's my dog. Okay. Let's back this one down. So this is node editing. That's quickly how you can come in and you can either erase or change lots of rounded things to lots of squares or or uh, I call them cut cut angles okay if you want to do that quickly don't worry what they look like now because you're gonna come in here and you are going to place what they are going to look like okay so I'm gonna bring this one out here this one I'm gonna back up Actually, you know what? No, I'm going to delete that one. I've already got this one. Okay. And this one I can delete. Just make sure you don't keep deleting when they're all lit up. Because when they're all lit up, whatever effect you apply will happen to all of them. If you accidentally delete them, just go back in and hit the undo button. Okay, so let's take a look so far. All right, so that's starting to come back into shape. All right, so a huge difference from the rounded piece to what is happening now. It's starting to get that solid straight line effect. Okay, so now I have a whole bunch of things to get rid of over here. Okay, but that is kind of node editing if you want to stop the rounded stuff from happening. <clears throat> Lots of people, if you've traced in something or files come to you and they have been so mishandled, they will come in so ragged looking and you have to clean them up. Node editing is technically the way to go. Another way you can handle this to kind of help you from the get-go is Path Simplify. What that will do is that will help you knock out a bunch of nodes. Look. I have it down to 135. It's trying to put it back up to 209. So, nope, cancel. A lot of times when you bring them in, they will be so node heavy that doing that simplify can take it from two, 3,000 nodes, uh, sometimes 43,000 nodes. It'll help you get it down. So, what that is going to do is that is going to start knocking out all the excessive nodes in there that you don't really need. But I've already managed to pare this down significantly, okay? And that's really what you want to do. Because if you have excessive nodes in there, what that's doing is when uh, the machine reads that node, that node is basically talking to the blade saying, all right, you're going here next, you're going there next. So it's making that blade say, oh, where am I going? So it's, it's really increasing the amount of work that your blade is doing, all right? Okay, guys, if you have any questions, please come and find me at Scan and Cut Canvas and Scowhelp on Facebook. Thanks, guys. Have a great day.